Assalamu alaikum. Hello guys. I hope you guys are fine. Alhamdulillah on my side I'm much fine. So inshallah today we are looking at uh, a sample of a Ramadan schedule. We talked about the importance of having strategies in the previous video. So in this one we are going down into looking at a sample of a schedule for a student. So basically this first part of the video shows my morning routine. So my morning routine is usually fixed so there uh, at at rare circumstances do i do i make changes during my morning routine and inshallah i'm purposing to be waking up at 4 a.m and i have been waking up at 4 some days before ramadan especially if i want to to do a lot of things uh before 6 a.m and before i start my classes so inshallah during ramadan i see it's more more important for us to be waking up at four one for the purpose of tahajjud we know the value of tahajjud in 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 our lives right we know that it is that chance it is that opportunity we get to speak directly to allah and subhanallah doing it in the month of ramadan even increases the man the magnitude and then the second thing is suhoor. As students, it's really, really important for us to take suhoor because one, we need energy throughout the day for us to study effectively, for us to do our research, for us to do our exams for those who have exams. And suhoor is really, really important to even those who are not students, especially if they indulge in, in a lot of a, a lot of work. And as students, we, we use a lot of energy because our brains are always at work. So it is very, very important, important for us to prioritize waking up early uh, because of because of taking suhoor. And when you look at even the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he has encouraged us to, to wake up suhoor. Uh, we have a hadith that talks about us being rewarded just by waking up for suhoor and eating. So it is very, very important as much as we love sleep. But uh, as students, we really, really need suhoor for that, for us to get hydrated during the day, for us to get energy during the day. Now, after taking suhoor, inshallah, I'm planning to be, to take shower and dress, and dress up. And this should take me around 10 minutes. Okay, I have been doing this over and over again. So I typically know that the amount of time I usually, sp I usually spend uh, during this time. And I also give myself an allowance because it's not always perfect. Things can happen. That's why there is an allowance of 5 minutes. And yeah, you can also change <laughs> from your side. And after uh, the taking shower and getting ready part, we are going to, to the part of praying Fajr. Fajr takes 5.35 a.m. to, to 6.05 a.m. So basically, there are supposed to be activities after the, the, the Fajr prayer. And these activities can be reciting Quran, doing Adkar, you know, as a student... Uh, this time is really, really important because most of us, this is the time we are usually very, very free. So this is the time we should look into. And then I have to work on my project after, after the Fajr prayer. But if you do not have anything to do, you can actually extend the, the Fajr time to maybe 7.30 so that you can have a lot of time for you to read the quran for you to uh, do the adkar and here it is very very much uh, uh, uh advised for us to have a specific target like yes you want to be reciting quran every time after fajr what how much quran do you want to cover do you want to cover one juice do you want to cover 100 verses so this is actually something you can just juggle around with and then after doing the odin project i have to get ready for classes most of my classes start from eight so getting ready could be looking at my notes or going into the internet to to see um 
to see what they are saying about the class, whether it's there or it's not, uh, it's not there. Maybe the lecturer is not uh, attending to us on that day. So yeah, basically that is how my morning schedule works and it's normally fixed for for all the days uh, before and even after Ramadan. Apart from having a fixed morning routine, what we also need is having um, a different schedule for each day because each day, according to the classes we have, uh, shows the free time we have. So according to my schedule, my free time normally starts at 4 p.m. That is in the evening because I have three classes on Monday. So uh, from there, that is where I can plan. Because these classes are normally like it comes one after the other, one after the other. And perhaps the only time I can get is uh, praying and then getting back to class because we have online classes. But then after that, uh, I have a lot of time from 4 onwards. So from 4 p.m. Uh, to, to 5, I have to like break take a break and refresh. So by refreshing here, inshallah, I'm planning to be preparing iftar or fetch water or maybe if I'm not the one uh, supposed to do that because I have a roommate, then I will be watching uh, videos, inspirational videos or maybe lectures, Islamic lectures or anything that is going to help me take a break from the whole day of uh, studying. So, and then after that, from 5 to 6, inshallah, after taking the break, I'm planning to, to be studying. And then afterwards, from 6.15 until Maghrib, this is time for me to sit down and recite Quran, do adkar. And then afterwards, from 7 to 7.40, I'm supposed to take iftar and also socialize. And then from 7.50 to 8.50, PM, I'm supposed to study as well. So we need break. We need a break as humans. Like after studying, what comes? You know, even during Ramadan, we get really, really tired. So we have to be honest and try as much as we can to have a friendly schedule. And then uh, 7.50, inshallah, to 8.50, yeah, I have to study, and then I have to sleep at, at 9. So the reason as to why I have, we, we need to sleep early is because we are waking up early. So for us to, to, to wake up early, then we need to, to sleep early. So this is a sample of my real schedule. Uh, I don't have anything, uh, scheduled for, for the weekend. Like from on Saturday and on Sunday, I have something scheduled on Friday, but then I the reason as to why it's that way it's because I want to break from the normalcy of having a fixed schedule during the weekends. I want to create my own to do list so that I can feel like I'm not uh, restricted to be doing something specific each and every day. Hey, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have benefited from this video and now you have a rough idea of how a Ramadan schedule can look like so you can play around with yourself and see how yours is going to look like. If you need more videos on Ramadan for students, please let me know in the comment section. Like the video and share it with your family. Thank you so much for watching and ma'asalam.